Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to your Easter workout. Today in the warm-up, I'm going to spell Jesus is risen because that's what Easter is all about. Each exercise will be 30 seconds long. Then we're going to grab our weights and we're going to do a weights workout and some core focus spelling Happy Easter. That's 11 exercises each done one minute long, 30 seconds of rest after, and we're going to repeat them through three times. At the end, I'm going to throw in a surprise, well, not a surprise, because I'm going to tell you, uh, we're going to throw in a Tabata, using the exercises that we've done from our warm-up into Tabata style and kick it up a notch. So grab a sip of water, make sure you're not standing on anything like cement or tile, and join me for your workout. All right, to spell Jesus is risen, the first move is the J. It's a J, J for jog, but if you don't want to jog, you go right ahead and march. But I'm going to take my arms up overhead and my feet are super quiet on the landing. But again, if you want to be here, right on, you go right ahead. All right, again, 30 seconds for each of these moves. The letter E is coming next in 10 seconds. It will be elbow to knee. Here is three. You want to step out nice and wide, elbow to knee. There you go. Good twist in the upper body here. Warm up your obliques, your core, your shoulders, hip flexors. Whew, sit into this just a little bit more. Here's 15. Go for 10, then I have a step touch. Five, two, and one. Here we go. Step touch S. Step side, double S. Elbows are driving backwards. Getting as low as you feel comfortable. I was just thinking that to bad in the end. Well, Jesus is risen is like, how many words is this? 12, 12 letters. Is it going to be a 12 time Tabata? No, nah, nah. I'll make it into eight for you. Okay, you is an uppercut. It's a coming low. Pretend that you're punching a pillow so that your fist doesn't get sore. You're actually drawing the letter U with your head. Here's 10 seconds. L J E S U. What's one more S? Single hamstring curl. Arms and hamstrings curling. Let's cross back. All right, all right. Dropping down, getting lower. That's Jesus. The I and the S, the I, internal hip rotation. Just gonna be standing and basically doing a knee up, but you're gonna bring your, it's like this in slow motion, so you don't have to have any impact if you don't want. Internal hip rotation or a little bounce if you want. That's how you wanna warm up. And then your S is going to be squat side. In ten, up in three, two, squat, side, arms, side, squat. Jesus is squeeze your shoulder blades. Good job. Ab pulling in towards your back. And then risen. So your R is going to be a reverse lunge. Let's go for two more. All right. Can we go reverse lunge, reach over, reverse lunge, and reach? Give yourself a little bit of a stretch there. I will be. Did you say inchworm? So yes, you're gonna hinge forward and walk to plank. Here we go. So inchworm, plank, walk back up, push your hips forward. As fast as you want to go. So that's the I. 
high. Then you're gonna do an S. What's that gonna be? Spider-Man, inchworm, stay here. What's Spider-Man? Alternate step up. Let your hip just lightly drop toward the floor as your knee bends. 15. That's R-I-S. So for your E, hold your leg out, go elbow to elbow. E, can I combine E and N? Yes, I can. Go elbow to elbow, drop your knee to the ground as you lift your elbow up. I know knee is a K, but for these purposes, <laughs> I need it to be an N. <laughs> 10 seconds here. All right, all right. Step up to the other side. Elbow to elbow, start there. Elbow to elbow first. Deep breath. When you're ready, drop the knee as you rise. Raise your elbow. Can I have two more? That is Jesus has risen, which means we're gonna go uh, slowly back up. Please round through your back, through your shoulders, take a sip of water, get the weights that you need. Happy Easter. H, one weight, two hands. Halo, tricep, press. Each move, one minute, 11 minutes, 30 seconds rest, repeat, repeat, then bring on the Tabata. Have your water, pause as long as you want, and then let's get going. Okay, halo, so you wanna go wide with your legs. For one minute, draw a big, big, big circle, drop squat, press for tricep. Halo, <laughs> tricep. Bigger the circle, the more you're gonna be able to engage that core. Try to keep the elbows up, shoulder height. Keep on looking forward. And then you choose the pace that you want to go. How heavy you lift, it's going to really indicate that. You should hear your breathing. Because that diaphragm is part of the core. So you want to really exaggerate that breath. Blow it out. Go for 15. Can I have one more? Then I have the letter A, alternating reverse lunge, bicep curl. You're gonna want two weights probably. You could always do one, but A is alternate, curl. Alternate and curl. Pay attention to your knees. What's going on, knees? Do you not want them to sneak in? You should be able to lift your big toe. Find your pace. How's that breathing? I've got 20. Then I have P. H A P P Y. The P is going to be push up. Oh, brother, here's the pushback. People love push ups. They can do chest press mm -hmm. and bridge. Let's go push up. Look, if you want to be on your knees, get your heels up. Squeeze your glutes. Why heels up? Get you off your kneecap. Keep going. Those of you that don't like it, chest press, bridge if you want, or just the chest. Knuckles to ceiling. You've got 20 seconds to go. Then I'm gonna ask you to do a plank. 
Maybe your knees or toes. But if you want to make it harder, you can add a toe tap and a shoulder tap. Here's 10. Three, two, plank. Hands on their shoulders, push into the heel. Set first. Then, shoulder tap two, tap your toes two. The more you move, the more unstable you are, the more you're gonna challenge your core. The goal though, don't let your hips move. Up. Keep changing your lead hand. You've got 20 seconds. Not yet. Not yet. I'll let you know when. When, when we're done. Go for 10. In five, you have a letter Y. I just want you to lay down. Arms are out like the letter Y. Feet together. We're going to raise and lower. You can keep it up as long as you want. Just try to really squeeze your quads together. Exhale on the lift. Hello, little bunny. Try to keep those shoulders away from your ears. So this is happy. Are we happy? Of course. 30 more seconds to go. Then I'm gonna spell Easter. The E is gonna be external hip rotation, also known as a fire hydrant. <laughs> so we're going to be on our hands and knees, working on a glute medius. Go for 10. All right, use your left leg. Say it with me, left leg. We lift up, lift as high as you want, go about halfway down. Keep your foot flexed. As many reps as you want, but this is controlled. So I am going to try to do this without leaning on one side. Keep your hands underneath you, equal pressure on them. So your gluteus medius is generally the weakest muscle in the lower body, but it needs to be strengthened intentionally. Its job is to bring your leg away, to abduct your leg from your body. That's the fire hydrant. 15 seconds. Then the A is going to be alternating forward lunges. And we're going to do side raises. Let's go one more. Grab your weights for your shoulders. Begin whenever you're ready. And if you are not a forward lunging kind of person, simply do this. Either go backwards or don't do it at all. Instead, do a leg side. Okay? All right. Watch the toes, they don't cross in on you. Exhale up. Thumbs are going to lift to the ceiling, or sky, wherever you are. E, A. Now we need an S. It's going to be a snatch. One weight. So drop one of your weights. Come wide with me. Pretend you're zippering up a hoodie over your face. If you don't want to go over your head, bring yourself right there to your shoulder. All right, and then start to bring your pace where you need it to be. It's like you're a football quarterback. You're looking out at the field. You come right up to the center's butt with your hands and you're gonna go hut, hut, get the ball. Look to see who you're gonna pass to or if you're doing a running play. All right? I've got 20. 
Then we'll have a T. It's going to be a tricep kickback. You're going to decide if you're going to use one or two weights. One more. Okay, I want to hold a lunge. And I'm going to grab my other weight and kick back. But if I'm not a fan of both, then I'm going to drop and do this. Now, whatever you do, don't swing your weight. Pause it. So the deeper the lunge, the more you're going to be engaging through your legs and glutes. So if you don't like that, stand up a little higher. Look forward. E A S T. 20 seconds till you have an E R. E is going to be an eccentric curl. So it's biceps. 10. Weights for biceps, please. Go on your toe. It's an eccentric curl, which means slow down all the way, quicker up. Watch the leg. Let it follow your arms. Challenge your little brain for coordination and balance. Whew. These are really heavy weights. There's no way you're going to balance. You just stagger your feet. Focus on the curl. You've got 30. Now my legs doing what my arms are doing. Put those weights right to the heel of the hand. You just don't grab them with your fingertips. You can actually really damage your tendons and get bruises, which I've done, weirdly enough. I had bruises at my fingers. So weird. Five. Then a reverse fly. Get yourself weights for your shoulders. Here's a fly. Hey, hey, what if that's not you and you don't like it? You can certainly stand, thumbs back. Play with this. Do the leg the whole time. Balance, or after 30 seconds, you can switch legs. Get a hinge, thumbs up. Yes, the shirt hangs, but the tummy, nah. Come on. Good news, 30 seconds. Then water break for 30, or you can pause as long as you want. We're gonna do it again. You've got five, three, Two, down, water, great job, hopefully, yes. <laughs> 10 seconds, one heavy weight, halo this direction, press overhead, get yourself ready to go. Grab your weight, come nice and wide. You ready? Big Big halo. Up. Here we go. Down and up. Big circle. Biceps by your ears. And then I sit into my heels. Those of you who go, oh, I don't like this. If it's bothering you and you want to do, Basically a goblet squat here, you could. I'm just showing you some options in case you need them in your life. <sighs> Here's 15. Then I'm gonna do my alternating reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Ready? Get yourself two weights. 
and a reverse lunge and curl. Now, if you've got extra energy and you want to make it harder, you can add a press. Exhale overhead. If anything needs a rest, then you just change it. You can always do hold and just do the legs, or you can curl and just do the arms. So this is the A, alternating. Here's 10 till we do a push-up or a chest press. I'll join the chest pressers this time around. Here we go. Feet hip width, come to bridge, knuckles to ceiling, hips down and up if you want, or hold. But let's really exaggerate that hip lift. So you're going all the way. If you don't like it, here. Now, those of you who are in that push-up, if you're on your knees, just a reminder, heels to glutes, and turn those pinkies out. <laughs> Pushing with the middle portion of the foot. Go for 10, then I'm going to do that plank and I'm going to tap my shoulders and tap my toes. Three, two, down and up. P for plank, hands under shoulders, push the ground away. Shoulder, shoulder, tap as big as you can. Remember, it's the hips, we're trying to not let them move. Deep breath. Go for 20. And then the letter Y for happy. You're going to lay down, remember? Make your arms into a V, the legs straight, and you look like a Y. Here we go. Lay down. Stand out. Thumbs up. Feet together, have a lift, hold as much as you want, and descend. Imagine you're laying on something sharp. Pull your tummy in and away from the floor. How's that breathing? Is it wonderful? 30. Then I'm into Easter. Yes, I am. That's going to be that external hip rotation, which is also fire hydrant. Go for 10. Press yourself on your knees. This is your right leg this time. Okay. Lift as high as you can, halfway down, belly in. More challenge if you close your eyes and try to see if you feel like you're tipping. You don't want to. Exhale on this lift. You've got 30. Then have alternating forward lunge with side raise. Here's 10. Three, two weights for your shoulders. Remember the side raise. 
and a forward lunge. Or side raise, side legs. You can do 30 seconds on each if you'd like. off with power so you might go slow but then you go faster back E A we're gonna have to do our S in 10 seconds we've got to snatch you're gonna put one weight down here you go wide legs hut hut overhead or shoulder Come on, little momentum makes it a little easier. Honest to goodness, if yeah, if you were just doing this, that would be harder. This gets your heart rate up. Here's thirty. Then the T. Can you remember a T? Try that kickback. <laughs> Ten. Remember, it's going to be one or two arms. We're going to hold the lunge. Okay, here we go. One or two. Okay, for those of you that are not a fan of this, I'm just going to show you an option. Thumbs out. I have staggered my feet. I'm lifting as high as I can. If you don't like thumbs out, pinkies back. My hope is that you find exercises that are best for you and your level and that you enjoy your workout. 30, then two more and then we'll have water. The letter E is coming. It's the eccentric curl and the balance. Here's five. It's gotta be biceps. Eccentric curl. So I went up fast and then I go slow, slow, slow at the leg. Hop. All the way. Relax your hands. I've got 30 till the R is the reverse fly with or without weight. Up. 15. That reverse fly just hinged forward. Have one more. Okay. Hinge, thumbs up, here we go. Or please we recall this. And then you did 30 on each side if you want. But keep your legs so that your toes are forward or even slightly down. How about one? There it is. Walk it about, water up, pause, press, play when you want, and we'll go one more round. 
And then optional Tabata. All right, 10 seconds. I'm going 30 seconds, halo one direction, 30 in the other. You ready? Let's grab the weights. Okay, come wide, come low, come big. Here we go. Huh. How low do you want to go? Big. Ten until you switch directions. One more. Here it is. Switch. Fifteen to A. I wonder if you can remember these. Challenge your brain. What is A? Alternating reverse lunge and bicep. Get two weights. Here we go. Reverse and curl. And then I said, hey, do you want harder? Sure, why not? At the press. Keep going. If you don't want those legs, right here. You've got twenty. Then what are you going to do? HA, couple of P's. Your favorite, your push up or your chest press. All right, you decide. Let's begin. I'm going to do 30 of each. Pinkies out, abs tight. If you're doing chest, I'm about to join you. How's your bridge? You doing that? Elbows closer to the ribs as you drop these weights. Ten to go. Then you're going to plank. Add the shoulder tap, toe tap if you'd like. Here you are. Set yourself in good formation, push the ground away, and then watch that your hips aren't rotating very much if you can. I try to change my lead arm as I do that shoulder tap. In 20 seconds, we have the Y. We need to drop down and do the Y raise. Go for five. All right, lower down, legs together, arms in a V, thumbs up, lift and hold if you want. Squeeze the glutes. I'm trying to really pull the femurs into the hip socket and release. Up. Now go heels together if you can do that. That bugs your back, then spread the feet. And again. So this is our last time through the happy. <laughs> this is a 
make you happy. Twenty seconds. Then we have that external hip rotation. So thirty seconds on each leg. Also known as that fire hydrant. Three, two, hands and knees. Choose a leg, doesn't matter because we're doing them both. Halfway down. Here's ten. Switch legs. Squeeze your shoulder blades. So this is the E. The A is the alternating forward lunge with side raise. Go for five. Weights for shoulders. Okay, so it's the lunge, push back, raise. Again, those of you who are not a fan, let's go 30. Or just here. So those again, please continue to do the forward lunge if that's your exercise of preference. I personally will just join the side raise this time. If you're doing 30 and 30, this is your switch now. Not much of an A, is it? Unless you use the other word for your bum. Instead of yes for that. Come on, glutes. Come on, shoulders. <laughs> then I'm going to snatch 30 on each. Doesn't matter what arm you start with. One more. Here we go. Come wide. Hot, hot. Keep looking. Eye contact. <laughs> Ten more. Three. Switch. Fifteen till you have T E R. Do you remember the T? So you can do thirty seconds triceps on each. We're doing all. Or do a standing tricep push back. So, pick a leg, 30 seconds here, here, or hello. This is your other option, okay? Again, just make sure you're not swinging. Elbow stays put. Three. Two, switch. In 15, E and then R. What's the E? Eccentric. So it's the bicep that's slow. Three, two, one. Up, up. Slow, slow. Oh, where did my balance go? <sighs> nice and controlled. Weights to thighs if you can do that. Five. I'm just switching my legs, it's the only change.
deep breath. Fifteen to reverse flies, with or without the weights. And then that'll be a rest, and then a Tabata. Three, two, one, dun, 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 or I love this exercise. I can't get enough gluteus medius. Because if you have back problems, or even knee problems, hip problems, often, not always, often it can really stem from an imbalance with your gluteus medius. So that's the work for it. If you're doing one leg at a time, it's halfway. Fifteen. Three, two, water, walk around, have a minute or as long as you want. Jesus is risen Tabata style. Hmm, one, two. I'm going to take eight moves, 20 seconds each, 10 seconds of rest. Work our butts off, one round. Then we'll be done, okay? Jesus is risen. Eight moves, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The first one is J, it's gonna be a jog. So it's gonna be high knee run. Are you ready? Let's get going. Timer up. Ready, set, give it what you've got, go. Not a lean back, little forward. Five. Rest, E, elbow to knee. Low impact or high, it's a Heisman E for J-E. Ready, set, go. Or. Five. Rest. S. Step touch. Or skater adds power to this. In three, two, let's go. Or silent landing. Rest. You and Jesus, there was that uppercut, yeah? Well, this time I'm just going to do it like this. Cross country. Ready? Let's go. Tap back if you want. Five. Rest, J-E-S-U-S. The next S in the warm-up was a single hamstring curls. Let's do it with power. Let's go. Get drop it lower. Any kind of arms. 
Change the arm if you want. Lift them. Lift them. Five. Rest. Um, I'm gonna do for is squat side to side like this. Ready? Let's go. risen. The eye, remember that inchworm? Do it at a hop. Ready? Let's go. Hop. Five. And rest. Spider-Man. Plank. Hop side to side. If you don't want that, then stay here. Let's go. Last 20. longer stretch you might want to do that on your own or find another video so if you're signing off happy Easter it was great to have you if you're staying with me have water and join in when you're ready standing stretch if you have a wall nearby go to it put your toe up against it arms spread out like this lean forward for your hamstring and your chest if you don't have a wall hinge back Squeeze your shoulder blades together and hold. Switch legs. Using the wall or not, take hold of your ankle, bring your knees toward each other, tuck your hips, pull back. Watch what I'm doing. So I'm trying to pull through the chest. Just breathing deep. Thank you so much for working out with me. I do hope you have a happy Easter or a happy weekend or days. I guess it depends when you're watching this video how your days will be. Cross your ankle, sit back into the invisible chair behind you, give this a little bit of a push and watch your posture. Please do not tuck, chest out, tailbone out. I'm on the same leg the whole time. Will you now step back with that same leg, go into a lunge, tuck your hips, come up to tricep, and slightly, slightly go to one side. Here we'll go shoulders, pull across, look at my heel to the ground, straighten the leg, hinge a little forward, the tailbone coming up. We're 
we're going to reverse order everything we've done. Change legs, change arms, give it a pull, and a little bit forward. Come up, lunge, drop the knee, tricep, tilt. Okay, the leg that's behind you gets to cross over top. We're sitting or you're holding, pushing away. Continue to hold the balance if you can. Knees come together, hand behind you, grabs the forearm, shoulder blade squeeze. Take a deep breath. From here, hands are going to just grab. I'm going to tuck, pull to one hip. As you do that, you want to be pulling your shoulder blade out. Don't let your hips move. Other hip. To center we go. Step out a little wider. Bring your hands overhead, please. Let go deep, deep breath. Exhale. One more. You've done it. You're all finished. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for another workout. Have a great day.